Look everyone, it's the Look Chocolate Bar here today on Walking the Candy Isle. Yep, that's right. Look is here for a review. Thank you very much for joining us today. Hi everyone, welcome to Walking the Candy Isle. Once again, my name is Jeff, and here we have Annabelle's Look Chocolate Bar up for review. Uh, Annabelle's, from the company that brought you Rocky Road, the chocolate bar. If you might know that this is a this is a California chocolate company out of Hayward, um, and uh, this is the Look Bar. It's dark chocolate, as you can see. Uh, more specifically, this is the rich dark chocolate covered nougat with peanuts bar. That's right. It is uh, the alternative to the uh, Big Hunk bar, also made by um, Annabelle's. I think Annabelle, their main claim to fame actually is that is that Rocky Road bar, but um, if you guys know that Rocky Road bar, but Big Hunk has a place, has a very specific, specific kind of place as well. Now look, and Annabelle's, I don't know, I mean, I'm not sure how cute, well known the Annabelle's Candy Company is. Like I said, out of Hayward, this bar was developed by the Golden Nugget Candy Company, another California can, uh, chocolatier. Um, which uh, was purchased by Annabelle's in the 70s. Um, and uh, that's where the look came from. But uh, it, it's like strikingly similar on paper to the Big Hunk. In practice, it's different because it's, you know, it's enrobed in this dark chocolate here. Um, but we'll see how actually different it is. Not that I remember Big Hunk that well. But um, I'm certainly familiar with Annabelle's from the Rocky Road bar, and I think they got a couple of skews of that. I know when I did live in California, I would, um, on a semi-regular basis, have that Rocky Road bar. Anyway, let's give the look a try. It's kind of interesting, right? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> My poor teeth. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, I was, I know I said big hunk, but then I completely forgot what <laughs> eating a big hunk was like. It's so difficult. I know some people prefer with these kinds of crazy chewy bars. To freeze them and then smash them into pieces but like whoa that had a snap you'll see right there there are actually whole peanuts in here but this bar this nougat wow it's it's like you know that beginning when you first have a taffy like before it gets super soft and nice in your mouth. This has got a lot of that. It does soften up, but it takes a little bit. Oh, ripping it off is like difficult. But it's definitely a messy job. Hmm. Well, <laughs> mm. The nougat, once you get past like all of the issues around texture and how thick it is, is um has got kind of a nice flavor to it. It's like a little burnt honey sort of flavoring, maybe. It's got a kind of a sweet, like a, like a honey sweet sort of flavoring. Um I like the fact that there's peanuts in it. If you actually look at a uh, big hunk bar, it basically looks like this, just without the, like the insides of this, just without the um, dark chocolate on the outside. Um, yeah, it's actually the nougat's actually not bad, not bad at all. Once you get into it, but I, I just I think that this bar is just a little too chewy for me, and that's for me because I'm not the kind of person who likes a big hunk, or maybe in Canada you'd think of an eat more, or something like that, you know? Um, Charleston Chew, is that one actually really chewy? I can't remember. I know I've had it before, but anyway. 
I, I think for me, this is not my kind of a bar, but I understand why people would like it. I don't think the flavoring's bad. It's okay. And, and uh, honestly, like, you know, if you were in the right mood, okay. You know, this is the kind of bar that I imagine is, is drastically affected by temperature. So if you want a really chewy bar, you know, then, uh, then, then you can go for this. But if you want to soften it up, maybe it's heated a bit more. If you want it, you know, more brittle, because this is the bar that this is the kind of bar that would get brittle. You know, I understand that you put it in the freezer and then you could smash it into bits for sure. Um, and then maybe, maybe the way to eat it is to let it sort of melt in your mouth, kind of. Um, maybe that's the thing to do. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not versed in this kind of a bar enough. Uh, they're just, it's just not the kind of thing that I would ever, ever really seek out. Um, like I said, not bad, but not my style. So, you know, I think for me, it's going to be a pass, but for you, it might be worth, uh, a look. It might be worth a look. <laughs> anyway, walking the candy, I was going to rate the look bar. I'm going to rate it a three out of five, a low three for me, but, uh, Personal opinion may vary on this one. So you guys let me know what you think. Have you had the look uh, bar? What do you think of it? How do you feel like this compares to the Big Heath? Big, did I say Big Heath? Is that what's called Big Heath? Now I'm second guessing myself, Big Heath. I don't know. Anyway, if you guys uh, have had this bar, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I'll uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for your time, guys. Um, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, so long, everyone. Bye-bye.